what hats did you want to wear for this interview? <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks, Chris. Um, so I am a worker owner at the Ashani Group Worker Co-op. Um, I'm also a loan officer at Shared Capital and I've been a worker owner at Equal Exchange in the past and a co-op organizer, educator, researcher type. So yeah, just like I'll, I'll kind of bring that background to my work. Yeah, and thanks for thanks for doing this. We couldn't do this during the conference. And I know the Geo folks were glad when they heard that some of the folks that I wasn't able to uh, get an interview with during the conference were willing to do it after the conference. Um, so I already know you're from, for, right now you're in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, but did you want to add anything else to that? I grew up in Cincinnati um, where my dad did worker co-op organizing as a tool for just racial and social justice. Um, I've, when I was at Equal for five years, I was out in Boston, went to grad school in Cleveland, and also have lived in Madison and Santa Fe for a few years each. But I'm in uh, Milwaukee right now. So, Did you want to talk any more about um, your role in Ajani or Shared Capital? I'm a loan officer at Shared Capital, and we are a co-op ourselves of borrow, co-op borrowers. We only lend to co-ops. And there are members when they, once they become a borrower, they become a member as well. And they can vote for a board, all of that. And that was a big part of why I wanted to work there versus, or felt comfortable working there versus a different kind of lender or something. Like I, I wasn't even thinking of going into finance at all or lending I'm totally outside my realm of possibility, frankly, until this job opened up. And, um, and you know, even with finances, like, I've done data and analysis before. Um, I have a urban planning background, but finances specifically were a big psychological barrier for me. So I really had to, one day it was like an epiphany almost where I was like, I could learn, I could learn this. Are you, oh my God, what if I'd learned it? <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, and thank God I have a great staff, you know, kind staff who helped me learn. And now I'm a full fledged loan officer there for two years. But I always bring my, I try to bring my worker owner hat and my member hat. And just like think from the situation of that, with that hat, especially like say with a conversion or, you know, what I feel, does this make sense? Like finances whole story, like, do I feel comfortable lending out this amount? Is it? Does it feel okay or not? Um, and then in Ajani, uh, we do co-op. We work with co-ops a lot and co-op uh, educators and organizers. Like we'll come in and, and do a workshop on say team building or co-op finances um, or create a material or, you know, something like that. Um, and I like to think of it. I like to, I, I don't, like using the term co-op developer um, because it implies like kind of a weird power dynamic, like other IC dynamic a little bit um, or top down. And also because of the connotations within planning for the word developer. And, you know, I don't, I don't want our, I don't want to be associated with, or I don't want to have that mentality going in or associated with that. So I like to use the term co-op organizer. And uh, Share Capital has been around for quite a while. And Ajani, what would you call Ajani? A startup, a conversion, or something else? Yeah, I think um, I think operationally, we'd still somewhat be in the startup phase, even though we've been around a few years now. Um, because I think like a lot of us have other like full time jobs, um, but you know, we'll do this like as part of our own personal missions and desires to serve our communities better um, and be part of our communities better um, in that sense. But yeah, it's it's an, a young co-op. Uh, what were you seeking at the conference? You know, formally, I went through my work with Shared Capital, which is like a big blessing, I, I know, because like I, I've been going to these conferences, um, the Eastern Coordinated my first would probably be the Eastern Conference for Workplace Democracy in 2009. And then the next year I went to the um, National 
conference in San Francisco, Oakland, Berkeley. Um, so I've been going for a while and um, I think it's, it's like really powerful to be part of this community and movement um, and to watch it grow and shift and be dynamic and have fresh insights and, you know, um, see how it's, whether, you know, like, how are we, how are we being rooted in our history and yet still move forward in a thoughtful way? Um, and so when it comes down to it, I think it's part of being both a movement for this broader vision we all have of creating a better world and also part of a community for myself personally. I, I say to folks, it feels a little like a family reunion sometimes, <laughs> you know, because um, I see people there that I see like once a year, once every few years, and um, ha we've all gotten to watch each other move along these paths. And it kind of dawned on me this last May that, you know, um, I may be working with a lot of these folks, maybe for the rest of our lives, you know, potentially, like, we're all really invested in this and like we only have one life. So it's very special to be able to decide that you want to be part of this movement um, and creating something together. So for me, that's where it's at. And then also to learn, learn what matters to people, learn what's going on, how I can fit in, how I can listen, how, how I can like, be my little puzzle piece to the best of my ability, <laughs> um, whether that's with my lender hat on or educator hat or just being a friend. Sometimes it's just like talking with people and like, I know some of the folks there are that for me. So I appreciate that. And yeah, th does that answer? Definitely. And how, how did you get to the conference? Oh, I drove down with my friends and colleagues, Charity Schmidt and Adam Trot in my Corolla. Um, yeah, what, what's, yeah. what has helped? Uh, some of these questions you can recognize because you proposed them. And I want to put that, make that very clear that some of these oh. questions, I, I asked Esther for advice and they were, they were like very useful in addition to what Gio had brainstormed. I was surprised that Gio didn't think of this, some of the questions, the three questions that you had. Um, and I think you narrowed it down too. So there's probably more brilliance in that head of yours. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so nice. <laughs> um, what has helped uh, Ajani and Shared Capital the, the most? And you can answer just for one if you want. With Shared Capital, I think that it helps that we're a member co-op so that we're responsive to our borrowers, the borrower co-ops. And that makes us more effective if we're listening to people and work with them, right? If we're like, being receptive. Um, it's a very relational process, lending process compared to a bank or something like that. Um, so I think that's that our model, the co-op model itself is really helpful. And then with Ajani, I think communication and honesty and vulnerability and love for the work we do together is what really is has helped us the most. Um, so the people of Ajani, um, you know, we can find money or, you know, maybe we can find money or grants or something, but when it comes down to it, it's this really special group of people with diverse skill sets, but the same mission and passion. So I'd say our members, our worker owners in that case, What's something unexpected that's helped Ajani or Shared Capital? Well, it was really nice to get a grant from CDF one year for Ajani to do some educational work. And we did like climate justice materials. Um, like I, I worked on a climate action plan toolkit kind of thing where co-ops can like fill out a co-op climate action plan and see examples, um, go through the workshop we have online. Um, the presentation. So that was pretty exciting. Um, you know, it's like 
really special to get to see those ideas come to life. And so I appreciate CDF doing that. Where do y'all go locally for assistance? It's a mix of like established networks, like the CW listserv, like network, you can throw a question out there and co-op developers will answer. But then also like peer-to-peer -peer support, um, we'll talk with other people doing similar work. To me, that's really useful. Just like connecting around our like visions, our struggles, um, our, you know, our ideas, um, projects. Sometimes we'll collaborate on projects together. Um, like with Colmenar, they, we collaborated with them on a project with, through Ajani. What's something that you wish that um, Ajani or Share Capital or both had to support mm. them? I think for Ajani, I think it's, and this is something that we were trying to help to some degree, in some ways with other co-ops, but like we even encountered it ourselves is that it's such a big thing to start a business. There are so many elements. Um, from decision-making processes to finances to um, invoicing to um, getting grants and like balancing that with trying to still bring in money, you know, so you can live um, or other resources. So ultimately a lot of us had to find other jobs as well, you know, like, because it wasn't, it was just like, so much um at least for me i'll just maybe i should speak for myself um it was like so much um how can we build systems as a movement to support early stage co-ops um you know maybe like like are there sources of stable income and healthcare and all of that and i know that like the worker usfwc is working on some of that with like healthcare or other things like that. Um, like that was a big one for me. You go from paying a few hundred a month to getting paid, like, and not paying for healthcare with a full time salary job. And it just blows my mind how incredibly like uh, inequitable <laughs> this country is with how um, basic needs are not are not met or where they're met, you know, um, like how it's based on your employer. Um, yeah. So I think like better policies and better structures in the, in those gaps as a, as a whole co-op community could really be supportive. Yeah. And I, yeah, I know a lot of people are, are saying the same thing about the healthcare. What was the best or most useful part or parts of the conference? It was really special just to be in the presence of people. Like when we're, it sounds like, I'm not, I mean, you know, I'm not trying to be cheesy or something, but uh, you know, like we were all in that big conference, you know, the main room during the opening and it w there were so many people there. Like it was, you know, like, so cool to so amazing to see how much this movement's grown and how many people are there and how many people I didn't know um which is good because it means it's growing <laughs> um I didn't know yet you know and a lot of them are BIPOC you know and it just like really moves me to see um us all in one space uh, there's something just really powerful about that. And I think just like hearing people's thoughts and ideas and um, from the fellow worker owners, I, I always appreciate having space for people who have been or are worker owners getting to share, um, you know, like it's really important that we keep this movement worker led, like so Chill mentioned in one of her speeches, like um, led by people who are most impact, who are impacted, right? We don't want to give up our power. 
like we want to share the load, right? So like if there are people who are good at educating or organizing or supporting each other, that's one thing. Um, but we don't want to fully give up our power and direction of the movement to like professionalized groups, for example, or that sort of thing. It's always good to see where worker owners are at, what their needs are, listen, talk. Thanks. Um, is there anything going on in Share Capital or Johnny that you're proud or excited about? Proud of or excited yeah. about? Thanks. Yeah. Um, with Shared Capital, um, we're working on, we've been getting some funds for climate justice work for co-ops and are trying to get more of that and do more education around that. So that's something that I'm just, I'm really passionate about. Um, and uh and, and, and climate change is already impacting our communities a lot. So we need to really make sure we're ready and are there to support each other, um, in my opinion. And then, and then with Ajani, um, hmm, we've always got some exciting projects coming down the, the road. Um, we all are working within our communities deeply and um, yeah. Um, uh, just like keep an eye out and <laughs> we'll see. So. All right. So this is the, the, the last part of the interview, which is a opportunity to shamelessly plug uh, share capital or Johnny. With shared capital. If you want a loan or if you're not sure about if you could use a loan or not, or a line of credit, please just come talk to us. Um, you can talk with me or one of our other loan officers and we can talk through what it might look for, like for you. We want this to be accessible, manageable, you know, like if we don't think it's a good fit, we're not going to make a predatory loan or something, right? We're going to work with you to figure it out. So if this is a whole new area for you, just come to us and chat. And then with Ajani, um, please come to us. And if you need any educate co-op education work, or community engagement work. Um, we also have like done design work for co-ops and some IT things like websites or that sort of thing. So we have a great team, really powerful team. And we would love to listen to what your needs are and uh, develop a cool product. All right, thanks so much for your time, Esther. Thanks, Chris. So nice to see you. And hi, Josh. <laughs>